Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be creating some cards using some of the club kits from Spellbinders for September. Let me show you these club kits first. So I have the clear stamp of the month. This one is called A Little Bird Told Me. And this one is really fun because you get these sweet birds, lots of sentiments and a banner and lots of little flowers and leaves to go along with it. There is a coordinating die to go with this. It's a separate purchase. However, if you subscribe to the Total Package Club membership and they throw this one in there for free, but I love having coordinating dies for my stamps. So we're gonna use these on card number one today. But let's take a look at two of the other club kits that they sent me. I have the small die of the month here. And this one is called Layered Mix and Match Sentiments. And this one is so much fun because you get a lot of sentiments and then a cute bubble outline for all of them as well. I'm going to be using the Happy Birthday to You sentiment for my second card. And last I have the large die of the month. This one is called Just a Tweet. And you can make up a pretty bird with lots of different layers to add to it. You can create balloons and even get some more words that say just a tweet note, as well as some more flower dyes and even the strings to the balloons and some musical notes. The balloons even have a cute pattern that you can emboss into them. So let's start out with card number one using the clear stamp of the month. I'm going to do some pattern stamping first using this embroidery hoop. I believe that's what it is with a little bow on top. And I'm going to stamp it several times on this piece of white cardstock. I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp this out. And I'm making sure to turn my acrylic circle each time that I stamp it out. I'm also trying to make sure I stamp the cute bow <laughs> that's on top of this hoop. This panel measures five and a half by four and a quarter, but I do end up cutting it down so that I can mat it with another piece of colored cardstock. I really love the VersaFine inks for this purpose because it's a nice, dark, sticky, thick <laughs> ink and it stamps out just beautifully. With other inks, I like to stamp them up with the Mini Misty or the Misty so that I can stamp them out several times to get a nice dark impression. But this, with this ink, you don't really need to. Next, I'm going to use some of the smaller stamps from this set. There's a lot of cute flowers and leaves and stamp in between the embroidery hoops. I just have a teeny tiny acrylic block here and I'll stamp out this flower several times. Also with this VersaFine Onyx Black ink, it's not a Copic friendly ink, so you'll have to pull out some other kind of medium. Today I'm going to use some colored pencils to color in these little images. I'm trying to fill up all of the white space and trying not to overlap any of these images. Okay, I will clean up my mat. I'm going to do a little more stamping. I stamp out the hoop one more time. I don't end up using this, but I'm going to stamp more images, um, all of the birds, as well as the banner. And then I'll color them in with colored pencils and die cut them out, and then add them to my main panel. Some of them I do have to fussy cut out, but look at that cute little baby bird right there. There's a die for that one. And I love that there was a die for the banner. I'm going to stamp that out several times. And like I said, I don't use all of these, but I do save them so that I can put a quick card together if I need to. Here is the panel with all of the smaller images colored in with, I used my luminance colored pencils and I tried not to go over the lines because colored pencils can dull your image lines. My main image is going to go in this center hoop and I'm going to pop up this bird with some foam squares. This is from a previous Spellbinders card kit of the month. And then I decide to change the bird. I'm going to swap it out for this one. So I did color these in off camera to save time. 
but let's pop up this first bird. This is going to be a birthday card, so I'm going to put this banner down next. It just says, Happy Birthday. I love the sentiments that you can stamp in this little banner. And there's three different sentiments for the banner. And then there are six other sentiments that you can stamp and cut out into sentiment strips or even use on the insides of your cards. Let's pop up this banner with more foam squares. I'm just going to tuck the pole behind the bird. And then all of the other birds I'm going to glue down flat. I wanted this bird in the middle to be my focal point. Those foam squares are really tall, so it does give it a nice pop of dimension. So I'm going to place these birds where I want to glue them down. And then I'm just going to use my precision craft glue to do this. I'm going to put two of the little baby birds in this bottom circle. Isn't that cute? And then I'll just flip it over and cut off the overhang. Before I attached the birds, however, I did cut my panel down a little bit, like I mentioned. And now I'm going to pop this on a piece of the green cardstock. I believe this is Peridot from Spellbinders. All of the cardstock I'm using today is from Spellbinders, with the exception of my white cardstock. And that is Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock that I use. I'm going to add some green gems, just three of them on this panel, just to add a little touch of sparkle. I always like to add gems or sequins or something to my cards. And I even thought about using some of the black licorice twine, but I didn't want to overkill here. <laughs> there are enough bows going on with the card as is. This last gem stone will cover up a little ink smudge that I got on the panel. And here's a close-up look at card number one. Isn't that just bright and cheery? And it was pretty fast to create, especially with the coordinating dies. Let's move on to card number two. I just adore these little sentiments. These are a great stash builder. I'm going to be using these a lot. Look how cute the word dies look with the outline behind it. So I'm using several different cardstocks for the shadow piece. And then all of the sentiments I cut out with black onyx cardstock. Then I can just easily glue these inside the shadow or the bubble. I cut out several happies, but just one birthday, because I'm going to make this into a slimline card and have the sentiment starting up at the top of the slimline and It'll descend all the way to the bottom. So I sped this up so you could see me putting all of these together. For the birthday sentiment, I did end up cutting out three more of the bubble piece in white cardstock so that I could give that word a little pop of dimension just to change it up a bit. Let's put together one of these flowers, just so you can see how I did this very easy. I cut out the larger flower with black, and then the smaller flower I cut out with coordinating colors to the happy word. And then I cut out all of the leaves and the dots inside the flowers with more of the green peridot cardstock. I'll just glue the little dot in place. I do end up adding gemstones over these green dots at the end. And then I'll add a little bit of glue to the leaf and put my flower on top. And of course I do that with all of them. <laughs> to add a little more interest to my cart, I'm going to be using some new embossing folders. These are slimline embossing folders. And I'm putting in a piece of white cardstock the folder I'm using for this card is called Big Dot Slimline. And then for my next card, I'm going to go ahead and emboss it right now, but it's called Diagonal Stripes Slimline. And I have a piece of paper ready to go for that. I'll run these through my Spellbinders machine. And then I'll show you what all of them look like. I'm also going to show you one called a Striped Slimline. 
here is the dotted one. I love that they have come out with slimline embossing folders. They're so much fun. Here's the diagonal stripe one. And then here is the striped slimline. So I'll show you all three here. I'll use the striped slimline another time. So let's attach this to a piece of onyx black cardstock, just using some more of the glue. The white cardstock is sm slightly smaller than the black piece. And the black piece measures three and a half by eight and a half. The black mat is going to fit in nicely with my black sentiments. I'm going to glue these down kind of wonky. It would look cute straight as well, but it's easier to glue them down at different angles. So that's what I'm going to do, and it looks cute. So all of the happies are going to be slightly off kilter. But the birthday sentiment, I'm going to glue down straight. And it's quite a sturdy piece. It's like a chipboard sticker with all of the layers to it. Let's add the pink cardstock over the white. I appreciate that the dot in the eye is built in, so you're not searching everywhere for your missing dot. <laughs> For your sentiment. Let's put this down just straight across the card. This was a pretty fast card to put together too. I really like sentiment based cards like this and it just goes hand in hand with these slimline sized cards. Let's attach the two and the U. And I have all of my flowers glued together and ready to go. I'm just going to space them around the sentiment. Here is my last flower to glue down. And now we can attach this to a card base. Isn't that cute? I'll use more liquid glue for this. I like liquid glue lately. I, I like the dot liner as well, but liquid glue is so easy. You can just Slap it down on your card and wiggle it in place. And as I said before, I added some silver gems to the centers of the flowers, and here it is all done. The embossed circles are very subtle on this white cardstock, but I like the added interest that it brings. It's, card it's hard to capture on camera. I do a lot more die cutting for card number three, but I want to cut out a lot of these balloons. I wasn't sure which colors I wanted to use, so I'm just going to cut all three of them out with many different colors of cardstock and then just keep them in my stash to have on hand. But I wanted to show you the cute texture that you can impress into these. Those are so much fun. They also come with a die that cuts out the little tie at the end of the balloon. They have a nice circle on the end of them so that they're easy to attach to the balloons. And I'll just attach it to these three purple ones for now. I'll do the rest off camera. If you were to leave off these tie pieces, you could just use them as circles. Make up a cute geometric card with these. Now let's put the bird together. I chose colors in blues and greens. There's a lot of little details that you can glue onto your bird. However, you can make it really simple and just leave off some of the dimensional pieces. Let's put his little top piece on. I don't know what you call this. <laughs> A pickup tool or tweezers really come in handy when you're putting together these small pieces, especially for his little beak. And I just cut all of these out with cardstock. You could cut them out with white and then color them in with Copic markers or whatever medium you'd like. I just sometimes the look of colored cardstock is just really charming. So let's put his eyepiece on and it fits the tucks right into his beak. Then there's even a teeny tiny little black eye that I cut out from Onyx cardstock. I had to cut that out twice because I lost the first one. Now for his wing. 
And I'm not going to use his feet. It comes with cute little legs. But he's going to be a bird flying in the sky. So I'm going to save his little legs for another card. Isn't that cute? I decided to glue a piece of the Dahlia Pink cardstock behind these little dots on his chest. And it doesn't fit it perfectly, but I'm going to trim it down once I have it glued in place. I'll just take my smaller scissors and do that. I have most of the flowers cut out. There is a flower that I didn't cut out just because I want these to be a little bit smaller because I'm going to end up putting them on my balloons. Let's put some of these together. I'm using some gold cardstock. This is from one of the card kits of the month as well. I just keep all of my little extra bits so that I can use it like this for little die cuts. And then we'll add some leaves to these flowers. This one is really cute. It has the three pronged stamen. And then you put two pieces behind it, make it look more dimensional. But you can, of course, put these together however you'd like. So let's put the words together. And these are just like the sentiments from the small die of the month. I'm going to use all four of the words on this card. So it's going to say, just a tweet note. And then look at those cute little notes that you can die cut as well. To my embossed panel, I'm going to add some salvaged patina. This will just bring out the diagonal stripes and add a little more interest to the card. I really love the new distress colors that Tim Holtz has been coming out with. I have the prize ribbon, but I haven't used that one yet. But I think this salvaged patina is my favorite. Probably a tie between that and the, oh, what's it called, Kitsch Flamingo. Let's add this to a mat, and this is some beeswax cardstock. And this one will also measure 8.5 by 3.5. So let's center this on the yellow cardstock. And then before I put it on the card base, I'm going to add everything onto it. So the sentiment goes at the bottom, and I'm trying my best to get this straight. We'll see how I do but it's going to be kind of staggered down the card. It's kind of hard to see the bubble outline on camera, but it adds just a nice finishing touch to the card. And now for the notes, I'm going to put three of these around the sentiment. Aren't they just darling? Next, I'm going to add the string to the balloons. And this was a nice piece because it helped me position my balloons. Otherwise, it would, it's for me anyway, it's hard to know where to put them. <laughs> but this just helped out a lot. So I glued down the pink one and the green one. I popped up the other two balloons with foam adhesive. And I'm also popping up my bird with more little pieces of foam. The flowers I'm going to add next. And I'm just going to glue these right onto the balloons. Oh, I am adding another string to the pink balloon. But I think these flowers look so cute on these balloons. So let's just glue them down. And I'm trying to put the smaller flowers on the smaller balloons. These two small flowers do come from the Small Die of the Month Club. All of these clubs just coordinate beautifully with each other, so you can mix and match all of these clubs. And now we can put it onto a white card base. I added some teal gems to this card. I end up repositioning the two balloons that I had popped up with foam, and you'll see that in just a sec on the picture. But here is card number three. Well, thanks for joining me today, everyone. I hope you were inspired, and I hope this gave you some fun ideas of what you can do with your club kits if you're a subscriber. And if not, I'll have the links to all of these club kits listed in the description box below. I'll be back really soon with another video. And in the meantime, take care and be crafty and have fun. Bye.